Okay, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's see how it will be. Let's show us. You're just such a good girl. Yes, you are, though, baby. You're just such a good one. There you go, baby. Okay, we're all done. Good girl. Are you wanting to go outside? Is that, is that what you want to do? Sierra, are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> it's a nice day out. wonder what's on your mind. We're going to hit the trail soon. What do you think, babe? Should we go outside? Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go get your ball. Hey, look what I got. You ready? You know what we got, babe? Get the ball. You ready? Let's go. Bring it here. All right, so yesterday we had a little bit of a scare with our little Sierra here. Um, where the video stopped was when I started to notice that she was walking pretty funny. And what happened was is her, her hind legs were completely just like jello. And her left leg started dragging behind her. So she'd try to walk and she'd, she'd try to stand up and then she'd crumble. And then she'd stand up again and crumble. And so I grabbed her from the you know we were, we were just just hitting the trail so i grabbed her brought her back in here uh put her up on the um the cot there with the sleeping bag and she soiled the sleeping bag and everything and which is totally not like her she's never done that before and so i knew something was a little bit off neurologically and i knew something was bothering her and then her eyes started tracking real weird they'd like they'd like twitch and they started twi twitching real fast and then she got pretty unresponsive for about five minutes. And I thought that I was losing her and I was really, really distraught about that. But um, luckily that wasn't the case. Um, hang on a second, I didn't realize my memory card's full. Let me clear some space. 
All right, we're back. Um, but anyway, so um, she was pretty unresponsive and she couldn't, She I don't even think she was. She noticed that I was there because her eyes were going all weird and she was like trying to claw for stuff, but her, her movements were really uncoordinated and really, um, uh, really just jerky and, and it was almost like she didn't have control. Okay, babe? It's almost like she didn't have control of her body. And, um, and I could tell that, that uh, things were, were going downhill pretty fast. So what I did was I grabbed all my stuff, I threw it in the truck and uh, grabbed her, threw her in the truck. We went down to the Mont Vista Animal Hospital. They got us right in, which was great. Um, we ran a series of tests on Sierra. I wanted to check out her heart and see if there was any sort of heart murmur or anything that would cause the seizure. And that, that came back negative, so we're good to go with the EKG. Um, we did some blood work on her and so we'll see what the blood work will hold. Basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to rule out any sort of underlying um, causes for the seizure. So since it was such a long seizure, the vet was just like, you know, we probably should do these just in case, just as a precaution. And if anything, it's just going to set my mind at ease if this was just a fluke. And so, um, as you can tell, Sierra's feeling good now. I mean, it seems like she bounced back pretty good. And um, <laughs> it's, it's my new workout stuff right here. I'm, I'm working out with uh, a little um, yoga mat and one of these roller things. It works great. Um, but anyway, she's feeling much better. And last night, she slept with me the entire night in the sleeping bag on the cot. And uh, I just wanted her with me just to keep an eye on her. I didn't really sleep that much because I was kind of just making sure that she was doing okay. But this morning she did good. Um, she had a really great appetite. We went out for a couple walks, didn't we, babe? And um, I'm basically keeping her, I'm trying to keep her kind of a little bit more mellow just so that her body can recover. Then also her brain can recover because seizures can be pretty dramatic on, um, on brain activity and stuff like that. So just keeping her mellow for a couple days and then we're going to get the test results back from the blood work i believe on monday and so we'll know more at then as to as to what's going on but you know she seems like she's doing good she's like she's got her appetite she's you know everything's work go, going fine so uh, let's hope it was just a fluke and that we don't have to deal with anything major but but if needed if we need to make some lifestyle changes you know just to accommodate her while we're on the road that's no problem and she has been getting a little bit chunky lately, so I'm thinking it's time for me to get her out on the trail again. I mean, heck, both of us could use some time on the trail, but get her out on the trail and get her kind of slimmed down again. <laughs> I know, baby girl. Get her kind of slimmed down again and get her back in super good shape. Because the doc was, the, the vet was like, man, she's in great shape. I was like, well, she's actually kind of a little chunky compared to normal. So, but it seems like she's doing good. She's got she's got her, her lively disposition back, which is great. Yesterday afternoon after the seizure, she just slept, like, for... Pretty much the rest of the day and the rest of the evening but now you can tell she's ready to go so i think we're gonna head out and uh gonna run into town actually oh i wanted to say i'm gonna do a live stream tomorrow on saturday uh let's say let's do it at 3 p.m mountain standard time i'm gonna do the cornmeal i'm gonna attempt to do the cornmeal or the not, not cornmeal uh, the cornbread and i've got a couple different recipes that i'm deciding between i'm not going to do the one that i posted up on the community um post on my on my channel i'm gonna do something different i want to have something that's a little bit more got a little more oomph to it like a little bit that's not so much of a cake i want something that's more cornbread and so uh, i've got a few uh, recipes that i've looked up online but i'll just do that and we'll see how it turns out i mean it might not it might not even turn out that good because it'll be my first time trying it i may burn it and just not not bake it the way i'm supposed to but we'll give it a shot kind of see how it works so we're gonna go ahead into town now upload this video and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow in the live stream. I'll post up in the community uh, section of my channel here. I'll post up the details for tomorrow. But let, let's say 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It'll probably be, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half worth of cooking. And I'll probably pre-mix everything prior to uh, to, to the, the live stream starting. But I want to use that new camera that I have, the, the, the new um, Logitech uh, webcam. Because I think the picture will be much better than what I had on the laptop. So anyway, let's head into town. All right, thanks. Thanks.